Now at five, two of the oldest and busiest bridges in our state are in desperate need of repair. They're both on Cape Cod, and a new study finds that something drastic needs to be done to fix them. The Army Corps of Engineers owns the Sagamore Bridge and the Bourne Bridge, and it's weighing two options. Yeah, the question is, do they repair the bridges, or do they just replace both of them? As WBZ's Bill Shields tells us, the answer will transform how we travel to the Cape. They're pushing 84 years old, the Sagamore and Bourne Bridges. When they were built, 26,000 people lived on the Cape. Now, 230,000 year-round, and many more in the summer. The result? Legendary traffic jams that cost Cape businesses millions of dollars. We know that when the bridges are under repair, it'll be a $33 million hit to our economy because of lane drops and, and backups. So for five years now, a team of federal and state engineers have been coming up with plans for two brand new bridges, triple the width of the old bridges, and perhaps more importantly, an all new highway system leading to and from the Cape. You can't just pour a lot of people into narrow bridges onto roadways without creating more problems. So, you know, give credit to the state. MassDOT has done a great job over the last several years doing this study, you know, looking at the entire canal region. The old bridges require constant maintenance, and they're overmatched by the traffic. In six years, they'll need a major overhaul. The goal is to have a plan at least in place to replace them before we have to put that major, major uh, work into it in 2025. The feds would pay for the new bridges. That's about a billion dollars. The state would pay for all the roads leading up to the bridges. That's about a billion dollars. But as someone said today about the old bridges, you can't keep putting lipstick on a pig. In Bourne, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.